you said to me that you wanted your ceremony to be three things. You wanted it to be simple. And you said you wanted it to be meaningful. And you wanted it to be an authentic service. And when we think about it, when we think about what a wedding ultimately comes down to, it comes down to the vows. It comes down to the promise, the oath which we make to each other. There is something very, very powerful about making an oath and a promise, but it is in an entirely different league when you're in front of the people who matter most to you. because they're going to hold you to it. There's a degree of an integrity and authenticity which comes with it when our actions and our words and our feelings are in alignment. And so when we say these vows in front of all of these people who care so much about us, we also know that throughout the journey that lies ahead, that they're there to lovingly support us and hold us to our word. Matt, I love you unconditionally, without a single doubt or hesitation. Thank you for your dedication to our partnership and your willingness to be vulnerable. You have gone outside of your comfort zone for the betterment of me and our love. Thank you for loving me through my imperfections and seeing in me what I couldn't at times. Today, I choose you to be my husband, my partner, and my best friend for as long as I live. If at times you cannot see what I see in you, I vow to never stop showing you. I vow to always remind you of your strength. I vow to always remind you to love life and to love yourself. I promise to always support your loves and passions and encourage and nurture your dreams. I will protect you and stand by you with strength. I will never betray you or disrespect you. I will honor you in all that I do and will be loyal and committed to our relationship each day that I live. And if we are lucky enough to have children, I vow to show them what a strong, sensitive, kind, and dedicated dad they have. So that if we have sons, that they will strive to be just like you. And if we have daughters, they will seek out a man just like you. I vow to do my part in showing them a strong, loyal, and unconditionally loving partnership so that one day they can seek out the same. Finally, I promise to let love instead of fear guide the way that I treat you. I will not choose pride, ego, or selfishness over love. I will always choose love. I will always choose you. Bridget, I would not be the man I am today if we hadn't come together almost five years ago. Being with you and seeing how you approach life and your relationship with pure love, passion, and emotion is a constant inspiration, and it's changed me forever. I have immense respect for the values that you hold close to your heart. You're compassionate, selfless, and loyal. You have a deep sense of self-respect that I find to be profoundly admirable. And of course, you're the most loving person I've ever met. Before we got together, I thought that I already knew what it means to love someone and how it feels to be loved, but I, I didn't. It was this realization that made me certain that you're the person I want to spend my life with. 
and you continue to demonstrate to me every day how true love looks and feels. As we move forward from today, I promise that no matter the circumstance, I will treat you with loving kindness, gentleness, and respect. I commit myself to you and you alone and vow my faithfulness. I will view our relationship as a constant work in progress and will not allow myself to get complacent. When frustrations come up, I promise to focus on what is right between us and to view all challenges as opportunities to help us grow stronger as one. I vow to perpetually cultivate and protect my affection for you, and it's my hope that as our love grows, we can radiate this love outward as an example for others around us. As I was searching for inspiration for my vows, I came across a, um, a traditional Apache Native American wedding blessing. Um, and there was a portion of it that I thought was perfect. Um, and I'd just like to share that short excerpt. Now there will be no loneliness, for each will be companion to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each will be warmth to the other. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter for the other. show